Right now at 6 o'clock on Vox 44 News, we all know it. January 28th quickly approaching. That's the first day you can file your taxes for your 2018 tax returns. But that partial government shutdown, well, as you know, could throw a wrench into your plans. Yeah, who else knows about all this? Fox 44's Noelia Mendoza. She's live tonight in Waco with how the shutdown could impact those plans of yours. Leslie Robert, next Monday is when folks are advised to start filing those tax returns and officials say it's important to just do it now and get it over with. Now, although the government has said that they will have staff available to process those claims, it's going to be pretty difficult getting the IRS to answer any questions you may have online or on the phone. That means it's a good idea to find a reliable tax attorney or CPA, someone who does that for a living that you can trust to talk to if you need help. April 15th is still the deadline to pay your taxes if you owe money to the IRS. And if you are receiving a tax refund, well, that payout could take longer than expected. If I'm expecting a return and I do it electronically, typically I'm going to get my money much sooner than if I do it the old fashioned snail mail way. Uh, but it's it's hard to tell right now. It's kind of a waiting game to see. Last year I filed electronically and I was paid 15 days after I filed. This year it's going to be a waiting game to find that out. If the government is still shut down when I file, I would suspect that there will be a delay in re receiving my return. Again, the key here is to not wait until the last minute. File your taxes as soon as you can. Live in Waco, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.